the birthday boy. We're here in New York City at Capital. Uh, I think one of the most beautiful venues here in this town. Happy birthday! Especially with uh, Michel Frisch, you know, our Consul General Chachou here, Donna Karen and uh, Michael. Michael, congratulations for this really beautiful effort that you're putting for Haiti and for Jack Mel. We are here to promote the culture of Haiti, to promote the beautiful creativity of art, and also to honor the work that the Donna was, has been doing in Haiti. Haiti has reborn me, and Haiti's endless possibilities of reborning is extraordinary because each and every person of Haiti has a spirit and a soul that no matter what could happen, will live on forever. So I would all love each and every one of you, please give Michael the opportunity to really celebrate his birthday, and let's all celebrate Michael Caponi. And thank you so much, Michael, for creating this whole thing tonight. Every dollar that we generate here, because there's no overhead, actually goes straight to educational programs. It will actually serve the people of Haiti. To train them so that when Haiti is ready in the next two years, that's what I think it's going to be, 
and when the infrastructure is created and the new airports are created and all the foundations are laid and the new people are trained to work in the industries, we're going to invite you to come visit Haiti and you're going to experience one of the most magical places on earth. And I promise you that that's the key here. I want you to close your eyes now and I want you to imagine all the pictures that CNN and that all these newspapers have put in your minds of all the negative and I'm not too happy about it I want you to close your eyes and think of those images and now I want you to look up at this screen and I want to show you the other side of Haiti it's not the only side of Haiti but it's the other side of Haiti that I don't think anybody here knows and it's very important you all see this picture. This is Haiti. A lot of um, artists from Haiti at the event today with their artwork. Are they also from Jack Mel or are they from different parts uh, of Haiti? Yeah, they're different parts of Haiti. Um, two of them are from Jack Mel. Philippe Dorar lives in Port au Prince, but he's in Jack Mel a lot. He's a very, very talented. Um, went to Parisian school and followed Picasso. The, I call him the Picasso of Haiti. some kind of benefit out of people coming and visiting Haiti. So once you start creating jobs, you know, the whole country is now probably a much better situation. You want to create a self-sustainable Haiti. You don't want to keep giving handouts like it's been having for the last 50 years because that road leads nowhere. Can you tell me a little bit about Jack Mel? Jack Mel is one of the focuses that this group Myself, Donna Karen, fashion photographer, Russell James, Victoria's Secret photographer, and a whole bunch of people have collaborated on, and we've decided that you need to throw the rock in the pond and make a splash in one area. So we're going to take this little town, let's say it's a third the size of Key West, and you have to rejuvenate and bring back its historical uh, integrity. And then probably in like two or three years, you can have almost like a nightclub opening. You can have like a grand opening of Haiti's first tourist town. 
and it'll be a microcosm of what's to come. It's almost like you, you, you want to create a little model. You have like two, three blocks, beautiful right. renovated buildings, some beautiful beaches. You'll create some jobs. But if that works, and if that can have a little bit of life, then the whole country's image changes. And then you can, the, the Haitians will automatically duplicate that in all the different regions. So many people here tonight. Let's see who came from Miami. So did you guys come from Miami by any chance? Oh, this one. So where are you guys from? Miami. Miami. Surprised to see the turnout, you know. It's always good to see people supporting your own country. So we're very excited to be here. And how do you guys know Michael? We know Michael from uh, Miami. We're based out of Miami. And uh, after the earthquake, we know that he was very active in the, you know, helping the people in Haiti. And uh, he's been a great ambassador of Chacmel, which is where our mother comes from. So Michael has been doing a lot of great things. And when he called upon us about a month ago to tell us he was going to put together this magnificent event, we were you know, humbled and we felt very good to participate and to, to, be, to, to help him move forward because he's been a great ambassador for Jack Bell. And he's been doing great, great things. And he was one of the first people from America to help down in Haiti after the earthquake. And we have a lot of respect for him. He's a very special friend of mine in Miami Beach. That's nice to hear. It's very touching. <laughs> and what about you? Actually, the first time I met him was through United Way. I work for United Way in Miami, and uh, he's a very big supporter. He does a lot of work in the community, so, you know, we're, he's, a, he's a great friend. I think it's really important. Sometimes you have natural disasters, and everyone pulls together. But what always happens is people forget. And I think you have to realize that to recover from such a travesty that happened in Haiti, you need to kind of, they need constant support. So I'm very happy to continue to support the United States. How much money have you raised so far for Haiti, and what is your goal now? How much do you think? Uh, contributed from today? Well, I've been on kind of very independent missions, so so I've learned a lot, I've seen a lot of mistakes that I said in my speeches today, and, and uh, I, I almost fight for what I would call Senate NGO reform, which I think needs to happen, and that, that being said is I would. I don't think that you should be able to have a 501c3, which is a nonprofit, without having much, much stricter regulations. It's too easy today for people to like raise a million dollars and then have a $500,000 party, <laughs> and then fly to Haiti on a private jet, and then pay all your employees, and then stay in fancy hotels, and then at the end of the day, the Haitians get nothing. And that's that's in a short story. That's basically the story of Haiti, and that's where all the money went. It got wasted because the regulations are right. Kind of like campaign finance reform. It needed to be reformed in order to work better. So what I did when I formed this nonprofit is I tried to set an example of something different. So we made it like this entire party, for example. We didn't collect all the money and then pay capital and then pay the liquor and then pay the employees and then pay the photographers and then what's left over goes to the charity. We tried to do something completely different where all that gets paid independently so all the donations that come tonight actually go straight to the charity. We have to find ways of getting more volunteer driven and getting things donated. You know, like my friend Seth owns Capital and he gave us the space tonight for free. 